Hey there, Head Squeezers, hope you're well. Now, you may have seen one of my earlier films all about why you have fingernails. Well, Raving Mad Manson has got in touch on YouTube and asked, why do we have fingerprints? Great question. So for this, we need to first look at how they're formed and we need to rewind the clock to when you were a fetus in your mother's womb. Now, the way that your fingerprint ridges form is when you actually reach out and touch the various surfaces around you. Now you've got various layers of skin and fat in your fingers. The top layer is known as the epidermis and it's the lower layer of the epidermis that actually gets squashed between the upper layer and the soft dermis layer underneath it as you're pressing out. That's what forms those fingerprint ridges. Now the reason they're completely unique to everybody is there's so many different variables going on. It's, it's the position of the fetus in the womb, it's the, the composition and the density of the amniotic fluid sloshing around the fetus and also around, around the finger as it presses against the side. So everybody has a completely different set of fingerprints, even identical twins. Now if you like that fact, give us a thumbs up. And as you're doing it, have a look at the weird whirl patterns and interesting shapes you get on your thumbprint. Now, recent research suggests that the reason we actually have fingerprints is to appreciate the finer things in life, quite literally. Uh, our sense of touch is all about the nerve endings on the end of our fingers and our thumbs called persinian corpuscles. They are triggered when you touch something and they send the signal up to your brain and you work out what you've touched. And researchers reckon that it's the tiny grooves in your fingerprints that are actually responsible for working out you're touching a small hair or, or a tiny speck of dust. Bonus fact, as you would imagine, our close relatives like chimps or gorillas, they have fingerprints as well, but so do koala bears. Yep, they're not just cute, they also have fingerprints. They're kind of indistinguishable from humans, even underneath a microscope. Mm. Amazing. So there you go, uh, fingerprints are useful for a whole bunch of things and the way they form is very, very interesting. They're not just useful for opening up one of the latest iPhones. But if you have found this video interesting, please do share it with a friend, maybe someone who has one of the sparkly new phones. And until next time, happy head squeezing.